The 20-lap Grand Prix of the Americas was a challenging outing for Fabio Quartararo, who had to make up the ground he lost on the opening lap and recovered to P12. Alex Rins crashed on lap 11, ending his race prematurely. The number 20 didn't have the start from P16 he had hoped for. He had wrestled his way to 14th in the opening stages, but the mid-pack is a dangerous place to be. The Frenchman went wide and fell back to 20th before the end of the first lap. El Diablo had some catching up to do. By lap 8, he was in P17 and closing in on his teammate. One lap later, they swapped positions, allowing him to start the chase for a championship point. He overtook Augusto Fernandez, and as the Marquez brothers had both taken a fall, the Yamaha man was in 13th by lap 12. He put his head down for a sprint to the finish. Quartararo closed an over 3 seconds gap to Jack Miller to snatch 12th on the final lap, finishing 22.899 seconds from the race winner. I went straight, unfortunately, on the first lap in turn 12. I lost a few positions but, to be honest, I expected worse. My pace was not good, but the drop of the tire was not too bad, maybe we could have managed a bit better position, but I think this weekend was all about trying many things, and we mainly focused on improving the bike. I started the race with a bike I didn't try before. This weekend was great because we basically tried many, many things. I think it's great for our experience. We know what we need, and having a clear direction to work towards is something positive. On the other side of Yamaha box, Alex Rins had a superb start from P15 on the grid. He cleverly opted for the inside line in turn 1 and emerged in 7th place after the chaos of 22 riders diving into the sharp left-hander. He held the position on the opening lap but struggled to defend it. He gradually lost ground and was relegated to 17th place by lap 9. Though having moved up to 15th due to crashed rivals, the Spaniard also fell victim to the tricky Coda track at the end of the third sector with 10 laps to go. Though unhurt, it ended his challenge. The start was pretty good. It was quite nice. We recovered like 8 positions on the first lap. But today in the warm-up we tried like a completely different bike to understand if that is the way that we need to go. In warm-up we only have 10 minutes for laps, and I didn't feel so much difference compared to yesterday. Maybe it even felt a little bit better releasing the brakes in the slow corners that we were struggling in yesterday. So, we decided to keep the setup for the race, and honestly it was a big mistake. Our bike usually is quite heavy on the direction changes. In the race, with this setup, it was even worse, so I was losing time there. Then I made a small mistake in corner 15. There are some bumps on the track, and maybe I went over one bump with a little bit more pressure on the front brake, and then I lost the front. Today's results see Quartararo in 12th place in the overall standings with 19 points. Rins is now in 19th position with 3 points. Monster Energy Yamaha MotoGP stay 8th in the team championship with 22 points, and Yamaha hold on to 4th position in the Constructors Championship with 19 points. MotoGP race will be back in action in two weeks' time for the Gran Premio de España, held at the Circuito de Jerez Ángel Nieto from the 26th to the 28th of April.